Right, in this video we're going to start looking at simultaneous equations now and they're going to be linear and it's going to be method 1 and method 1 is going to be the elimination method which you should have learned a little bit about at GCSE and there's basically two types of simultaneous equations and first we're going to look at type 1 and type 1 is the one where we can add or subtract and eliminate a variable or we can just multiply one by any number and then we can add or subtract to eliminate a variable. But notice when we add and subtract we do these numbers on this side as well because we're doing the equation. So then we get one equation with just one variable and we can easily solve that. And then we can substitute back into one for that variable that we've found and then we can solve for the other variable so let us show you what I mean here's my first example I've got these two equations and I want to find what x and y are equal to so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these two equations together and then what happens is these two y's disappear I get 4x equals 12 which is a nice easy equation and we know that by dividing both sides by 3 we get x equals 3 so now we know that x equals 3 then we can substitute x equals 3 into the first one so we get 3 minus y equals 2 And then what we get is we get minus y equals minus 1, so then y equals 1. So the solution for the first two equations is x equals 3, y equals 1. And you can check by substituting both of those values into equation 1 and see if you get 2, and into equation 2 and see if you get 10. And if you get the answers that are here, then the values work. Next equation now. Notice that they're not the same in either one. But notice that if I multiply this equation here by 2, then I get two wine both of these and we know that we can cancel them by subtracting the two equations so let's do that if I multiply everything in this first one by two I get 4x plus 2y equals 14 and then I've still got my other equation here and then what I'm doing is I'm subtracting these so then I get x equals Three. That's very nice. We don't even have to do anything with that. We know that x equals three. So we like that. So then we can substitute into one of these. So we'll put x equals three into this top one here. Let's do that. I could do another one. But I'm gonna do the top one. And we've got six plus y equals seven. And then we'll subtract six from both sides we get y equals 1. So these are the solutions, x equals 3 and y equals 1 are going to be the answers to these two equations. That's just an equation I got by multiplying 4 by 2. And type 2 now is where we we'll have to be a little bit clever and we we'll have to multiply both the equations by a different number in order to solve them. So this is a little bit more tricky. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply the top equation by 3. I'm going to get 15x plus 6y is equal to 33. 
And the bottom one, I'm going to multiply that by 2. I'm going to get 8x plus 6y is equal to 26. And the reason why we've done that is because now, notice that if we subtract both of these equations, we can get rid of the 6x, which is 6y, which is pretty good because then we've only got one variable. So let's do that. When I subtract these, I get 7x, the y's disappear, and when I subtract this, I get 7. So I get 7x is equal to 7. So then when I solve that, I get x is equal to 1. And I can substitute into any equation, so I'm going to substitute back in this first one. So that's just 5 times 1, that's 5. So that's 5 plus 2y equals 11. Subtract that from both sides, 2y equals 6, y equals 3. And x equals 1, they are the solutions for this set of equations here. And again, you can substitute them into both of these equations and see if you get these values. And if you do, then the answers are right. Now we've got two more equations here, but we've got a little problem. A set equal to zero, but what we can do is we can change that. We can just move these numbers here over and the change sign so we get these are our two new set of equations that are pretty nice now that we can solve. Well you might not think they're too nice because they've got a negative number in but a bit better than that. At least in my opinion. Um, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this top equation here by 4. So let's see what we get when we do that. We're going to get 12x plus 8y equals minus 20. And then we're going to multiply this one on the bottom by 3. Because then we get a 12x in the bottom one. So then we've got 12x in both of these, you see. And I'm multiplying it by 3, so we'll get plus 21y equals minus 9. And these are the equations here. And these, we can eliminate these by subtracting because 12x minus 12x makes zero so this can be a little bit nasty we get 8y minus 21y which is going to be minus 13y and then I've got minus 20 and I'm subtracting minus 9, so I get minus 11. So then what I'm doing is here, I'm dividing both of these, uh, these by negative 13. So then I get y equals 11 over 13. And just to save a bit of time here, because we're running out of a bit of time, what we'll do is we can substitute into one of these equations or even one of the original ones if you like. So we can do this. I'm going to say the top one. We'll substitute this in. And this comes out to be a number. This comes out to be. And then we can add that and we can take this number over to the other side. 
and solve for 2y, which you should know how to do from school. Sorry, no. Y should have been 11 thirteenths. This is, is my equation. And we can calculate all this here. And solve. And we know how we're gonna we know how to solve that. So I'm just gonna save a bit of arithmetic work and tell you that that's equal to minus two and three thirteenths. Because I did this problem a bit earlier. 